What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here, talking today about another big PlayStation leak. Yesterday, we saw the first concrete confirmed details about the PlayStation 5 Pro, and that was incredibly surprising. Well, today, I woke up and somebody has decided to post pics and video of PlayStation's Project Q, their handheld PS5 weird screen streaming thing. And honestly, the internet is already kind of confused by it. Let's take a look. Now, I am actually going to show you the device, even though I'm a little bit worried about Sony lawyers eating my face and nipples. So please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. This is Project Q. Now, as soon as you see it, it is a little bit of a baffling device because it is, uh, we're gonna take a look at screenshots, then we're gonna take a look at a video of it. It does kind of just look like a broken in half PlayStation 5 controller on sort of a tablet screen. But as soon as we begin to notice it, a lot of people have actually seen that this is a Android based programming. Now you're probably wondering, okay, why is that so significant? What's so special about this screen? Why is this so great? This means this thing is probably going to be hacked. Now we're gonna to get to that more in a minute here. Let me look at this one here. Clearly the person who's managed to get a hold of it is already disassembling this bad boy and seeing it all the way down to its core components. What you're gonna notice is that every tweet Everybody is basically just saying how bad this looks. This looks terrible. No one is going to buy that. Look at my small hands. Oh boy, this is going to be fan hunt fun to handle. Now, let's take a look at the video of it. Here's the video version of this. Whoever managed to sneak this out of a factory. The person has definitely very, very, very tiny hands. Now, I'm not insulting this person. I have tiny hands myself. I got these little princess mitts. So this is probably what it's going to look like to me. He's scrolling through it here. I mean, he's pressing buttons. You could tell this is definitely actually real. It is not some, like, fan-made project. He looks like he's, like, <laughs> hiding in a hotel. I think this guy probably stole it from a factory and is trying to film it someplace. Wow, yeah, there's still the little screen protector on it. This thing is definitely real. Now, I have to say, the thing that kind of shocked me most is that it does look pretty decently sized. The screen itself, this looks like probably about a... Uh, Probably about a nine inch screen. It looks pretty decent. I bet the battery life on this, the rumor is the battery life is about three hours. And now that we're seeing the brightness, the quality of the screen, the clearness, I think I understand now why this is probably a uh, three hour battery life. Um, I actually like the fact that the, uh, the, the fact that it has a full blown PlayStation five controller split in half the dual sense. But now let's talk about practical applications of this. The reports are this thing is just going to stream PlayStation 5 games. Uh, it, basically the way that remote play works. You're going to sync up your PlayStation account to this device and then your PS5. And essentially, instead of playing it on a TV, it'll stream the visual data to this tiny tablet. You're probably going to have some amount of delay. I think they've said this thing is only going to work via Wi-Fi. So if you're in your house and you're playing Persona 5 downstairs while cooking biscuits for your wife, you know, now you have an ability to play something a little bit. Or, you know, if your kids are playing something on the TV, you could play on this Project Q, but it's definitely not a mainstream device. I have been pretty vocally against this because honestly, I want something like the PSP, like the PlayStation Vita. I want something that is an actual standalone gaming device where I can buy PlayStation games of some variety, even if it is just indie stuff or something like that. I want to be able to pop trophies and play stuff and then remote play when I have internet access. It's weird that this thing is such a limited scope of ability for how high the price tag is. The rumor is this thing is going to be like 250 to 300 bucks. Now, a lot of people are talking about how expensive it is. Well, actually, so last night I saw Barbie and Oppenheimer. Check out my cool uh, Ken outfit. Here was my, uh, my hot date. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Next up. So you can see here, people are saying this whole thing is a joke. You can't expect to sell a handheld that needs to stream from a full on console. When you have a whole army of handheld systems that you can take anywhere and game on big Sony L now Mudahar, he is sometimes an overly negative person. That's kind of the character he plays, but I think he actually raises a great point. I think the problem with some of these supplemental Sony 
tech pits is the fact that there is just the requirement of a PlayStation 5. The PSVR 2 is 550 bucks after you've bought the $500 console. That's a thousand dollars spent to play your first game. This, even if this does end up being like $200, let's assume it's on the lower end. Assume this is 200 bucks. That still means you're paying $700 for a device that you can't even play at the gym. Like this is not something I, I play a lot of stuff on the treadmill at the gym. You can't even play this. Like everybody is just basically saying, I do not know how much more this, this thing is just so absolutely useful, useless. Now people are kicking around the idea that since this is Android based, we will be able to hack it. Uh, anybody who's ever used any cell phone emulators, they're actually pretty advanced now. There's pretty easy ways to play Super Nintendo games, PlayStation 1 games, which I really enjoy on your screen. And a lot of times these tinier tablet style screens actually are technically like 4K. So having tiny 4K visuals with good color depth, it is actually pretty cool. I'm curious to see if somebody hacks this and starts to put PSP games on it, starts to put PlayStation Vita games, because it would be funny if there was no official capacity, no actual Sony way to play these Sony games, and people started just breaking into it and doing it themselves. It's, it's interesting to me that everybody is still just kind of being like, man, this doesn't make it look any better. Whose smart idea was it to split the PS5 controller in half and use each side on a tablet? What if you stock drift? Uh, yeah, what if you get stock drift? Because that's super common with controllers like mine. Everybody is basically saying, man, I just don't understand. The fact that it has a three hour battery life, it's a tiny screen, it's 200 bucks. I mean, it, this is just a very, very strange idea. Everybody is basically just saying useless, 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 useless. I hope this product fails. It's quite big, but it does look comfortable to use. Is this running on Android? Everybody's like, man, 10 years ago, I would have been stocked, stoked for this, but now I'm proud that this thing is going to flop. Man, <laughs> this thing looks big, but if you throw it, it'll boomerang back right to you. I don't know. This is a, this is a strange Sony L. What do you guys think about this? Are you excited for Project Q? I, I mean, I'm saying it right up. I'm going to buy one so I can review it. I'm probably going to use it a tiny bit. But as a mainstream consumer, I'm not sure what the demographic is. This is for the most hardcore of hardcore gamers. I own like five PlayStation 5 controllers, each one that obviously cost me 80 bucks a pop. I'm the primo consumer. I'm the person that buys controller, that buys gadget, that buys games day one. And even I am saying... What is the point? But tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up, share with your friends, and go see Barbie. Trust me, you, you, you think I'm memeing. Barbie is legitimately a funny movie. I mean, I, I'm about to keep singing the, I'm just Ken, anyone else I'd be a okay, no, I'm not going to sing the Barbie song. But anyways, go watch Barbie. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.